Hi, my name is Tony, and I live in Raleigh. Tony, Tony. tell me this. When you very first came in here, what was your major complaint? Severe pain in my legs, sciatica. Oh. And sciatica in both legs, so it was bilateral. So you were in a mess, weren't you? <laughs> yes. What kind of things were you having trouble doing? Um, walking. I was basically taking a leave of absence from Meredith College for a whole semester. Yeah, you weren't working. I wasn't working. Couldn't no. stand up long enough. No, I couldn't. So it was very difficult to uh, function. You couldn't even get comfortable in the bed, could you? No, I couldn't, no. And so, you'd done physical therapy too, hadn't you? And I had done some physical therapy in the hospital. Right. Yeah. So none of that worked. Uh, and it was just a very difficult journey. And you lose a lot of confidence. You lose a lot of uh, control over your body. And it's very debilitating just to have to go through that. Well, now we've been doing spinal decompression therapy. Yes. Yeah. Tell us about that. This, it has been very successful. It was a slow journey. It started off uh, with some interesting factors that I had to solve myself because I had my own timetable and life doesn't go that way. And then after uh, we went for a little while, I started to see results and most recently uh, how things were changing and uh, able to walk, let's say, across the classroom, in the classroom, with confidence. Yeah, you're back to work. I'm back to work and it brought me back to work and so there were a lot of things going on but I had to um, had to trust the journey and that's very difficult to do but it, it came around very good to uh, to see the progress. As I look back the journey has been very successful yeah. and uh, and now you've got plans to go golfing with your son. I do indeed and I fight, in fact I'll even ask you to come to, to watch this play. <laughs> um, and, yes I'm, I'm going to do that. And that was the furthest thought from your mind. The closest one that I wanted to do but the furthest one that I thought I'd never do it again. So now it's definitely in, on the radar to get back to enjoying something that I was doing for many, many years. So. Well, it sounds as though you would recommend spinal decompression to others. Very much so, yes.